We'll look at the Imager module now. Once again, this module is multiband and can use up to four frequency ranges. And as we can see, here are our up to four bands. Before we look at the different display views at the top or the adjustable parameters, I think the best starting point is the vector scope here that offers three views. Polar sample, polar level, and I never know how to pronounce this, so I'm going to call it Lissajou. Anyway, regardless of how that is pronounced, you might want to use the polar sample vector scope when looking for signal that goes out of phase. During playback, you'll see samples represented by dots. Confined within the 45 degree range safe lines indicates audio that's in phase. Conversely, outside of the 45 degree safe lines means the signal is moving out of phase. A different view is the polar level vector scope that also utilizes a 45 degree safe lines area. Your audio stereo energy is displayed here. The length of the rays here indicate your signal's amplitude or volume, whilst the stereo width or placement of the signal is indicated by the angle of the rays. Again, inside 45 degrees means your signal is in phase, and outside 45 degrees means your signal is out of phase. And then, moving to my favourite vector scope, this Lissajou vector scope, well, this view utilises dots per sample too. During playback, you'll see the dots dance around to indicate stereo positioning. If you see a vertical line, or close to a vertical line anyway, that means the signal is monophonic within the stereo image. By contrast, if the dots move more towards horizontal, it's likely you could get mono compatibility issues. And then over at the right, we have a vertical correlation meter that indicates the degree of similarity, known as correlation, between the left and right channels in a stereo mix. The meter essentially has three numerical values, plus one, zero, and minus one, and of course degrees in between. When approaching plus one at the top, this indicates the left and right channels are virtually the same. Conversely, moving towards the bottom at minus one means your left and right channels are dissimilar and moving towards being out of phase. If mastering a mix that relies heavily on mono compatibility, such as playback within a club, you'll want to avoid the correlation meter indicating a minus one position. That said, as more multiband stereo widening or reverb width is generated, the phase correlation will move towards minus one, the bottom half of the meter, as the left and right components of the stereo image become wider. Well, that's the theory. Let's use the stereo width controls to subtly enhance a mix. As done so far, I'll start playback of our audio again, but once more, I'll mute its volume so that we're not distracted whilst I explain what's on view. And then in a few moments time, I'll unmute the track as we progress. We have three overviews of our track here. The crossover view with the four bands, a stereo width spectrum view that shows us a mirrored spectrum display. And thirdly, the correlation view trace that draws a scrolling trace of the audio stereo correlation. In phase components of the signal are shown in gray, whilst out of phase negative values are in red. Now I'll unmute the audio in a moment and play once more, but this time enhance the width by using the four vertical band sliders. As you'll probably guess, each of the sliders determines the degree of stereo width enhancement that we want to create. With this track, I want to keep the bottom end tight and mono compatible. So by dragging the band one slider down towards minus 100, I can control that bottom end. But by contrast, I want to spread out the band two area by lifting gently. And I'll also do the same for band three, but leave band four alone initially until I evaluate what it sounds like. Then, once I've got my bands 1 to 4 sorted out, if I wanted to enhance further, or maybe an old recording that was predominantly mixed for mono, then using the option here, I could synthetically add stereo width. Now, it probably might be too much in combination with any settings that I make for bands 1 to 4, but I'll give it a try. And also, finally, to add some slight delay to the width slider positions that I use, I can dial this up to taste. I say up, it slides to the right. 
Anyway, I'll start playback and make some adjustments as I go along. So even though she smiles her wrinkles round her eyes 